I had Ehlers Danlos syndrome with chronic pain. I had Ehlers Danlos syndrome with chronic pain. Basically, makes my body produce less collagen than anyone else with a normal DNA structure. Um, it makes my joints like jelly and my skin like paper. So if I were to fall, my joints would slide out of place very easily or my skin would rip like a piece of paper and stitches wouldn't hold me together. So I would have to immediately go into plastic surgery. And I just grew up 19 years living in a bubble because I couldn't do things that normal kids could do because even if I tripped in the grass or a cat touched me with its claw, my skin would just break. <laughs> Cheryl invited me to the stirring for the Bethesda Healing Well. It's a prayer night. And I showed up and we just started praying and I was kind of nervous because it was my first time. But everyone was praying of what illnesses they needed to pray over. And so they were speaking things about like chronic pain, arthritis, um, skin sensitivity, pain in the back, scoliosis. And Cheryl looked at me and she said, everything that you guys have just described in this circle, all 16 illnesses, she has. So we need to pray over her. And I got in the middle of the circle and everyone started praying against all 16 of those illnesses that I had. And I just felt the, plain, the pain leave my body and I've never known a life without pain ever I've lived 19 years with chronic pain I couldn't even go to school sometimes because I couldn't get out of bed so to feel that relief it was really shocking for me <laughs> and then I attended the Beth the Bethesda healing well the next morning and got more prayer and I felt the enemy trying to inflict me with more pain the pain was returning but it wasn't my pain. So I kept targeting my knee pain and I prayed it away and I said, this is not my pain. I command it to leave in the name of Jesus. And then it would move to my ankle and I said, this is not my pain. I command it to leave in the name of Jesus. And then it moved to my back and I said, this is not my pain. I command it to leave in the name of Jesus. And I just kept praying over it and praying over it that the spirit of infliction would leave my body and it left because it couldn't stand <laughs> to keep getting prayed against. And ever since then, that was in August of 2015, I have been pain-free. <laughs> and then I really knew that the healing took place when I was at a store a few weeks ago and I slipped and I fell. And in that moment, I knew that my leg was cut open because I've fallen so many times, even just walking in my house and my skin just splits straight open like paper and it bleeds and then I have to go get surgery. So when I fell in the store, I was like, no, I'm bleeding. I'm gonna have to go to urgent care. They're gonna have to put me back together. And I went in the bathroom to look at my leg because I was sure it was bleeding. And I looked down, there was not even a red mark. <laughs> there was no blood, there was nothing. I was just in shock and the only words I could get to come out of my mouth were God is good. <laughs>